What's happening, fam? I know y'all moving, still moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father. Amazon Kindle Create Space. The link will be in the description box below. Rigid Free Spirits. Came up having a conversation with a young lady I know who we're, we're two different personalities. She she feels like I am a more, and I am, a more black and white type of person. And she's a more of a gray area type of person. And that's something that, that's true about my personality. Like, it either is or it ain't. And in that, we were talking about, you know, she doesn't, she gets certain things about me because I'm more disciplined and regimented than her because she's quote unquote a free spirit. And she thinks sometimes we don't get along because of this. And I was telling her that I don't get along with quote unquote free spirits because I don't find free spirits as actually free. I think they're very rigid and calculated. And what I mean by that is, when we were talking, she was like, you know, you see things in a straight line, I see things more of a curve. And I said, well, here's the thing. If I see things more of a straight line, and you see things more of a curve, if if we do your curve three, four times in a row, and I say, okay, let's do some straight line stuff right now. And you say, mm, I can't do that because I'm a free spirit. Then, how really free are you? Because my straight line is outside of your comfort zone. See, a free spirit is free challenging their comfort zone, doing new, different things. And I'm not saying regimented things or mundane, boring, you know, unentertaining things. Because this particular friend, she's actually pretty regimented herself. But what I was saying to her was, that's why I don't get along with free spirits because they're selfish. Because they're free spirits when it's convenient for them. They're free spirits when you're compromising for them. But all of a sudden, they're not free and going with the flow when it's time to do something for somebody else or try something somebody else does. They're not free spirited then. That's why I say rigid free spirits, you know. You know, and I've seen it a lot of times because, like, it's very true. I'm a black and white type of person, but I'm a spontaneous person. Like, I'm not going to, I have a, a routine and a regimen, and I stick to that and that schedule for the most part. But the thing about that schedule is this. I can break the monotony anytime I choose. So if I want to do something different, I'm going to do something different. And, and for my experience in history dealing with quote-unquote free spirits they're very rigid because when it's time to do something out of my norm and their norm they're usually oh, I can't do that so you know I say you know they're like oh you're gonna do the same old stuff okay and I'm free I'm free I just like doing anything I'm like okay well shoot I got it let's go skydiving ah oh, oh, I'm afraid of heights I can't go skydiving okay how about indoor skydiving? Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. That is far too scary for me. Far too scary. Okay, let's go to a gun range. Ah, ah, ah. I don't do gun ranges. Okay, let's go to go karts. Ah, it's too much noise. I don't like the fumes. Okay, let's go laser tag. Ah, oh my god, oh my god. You know, that's just, it's all the moving and the running and, and the boo 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 freaking out. See, uh, I don't, I've not had the experience of free spirits actually being free. You know, I'm an artsy type of person. Oh, let's do some, let's create some. I, well, I got to create it in this way. or I, just, I, I have to set this mood. And if I can't, it can, if it can't go this way, I can't be in the mood to create. And I can't. So how are you a free spirit if you always have to work in the same paradigm? To be free you know and most of the free spirits I know never could answer that question 
Because, and that's why we never really got along. Because to me, they weren't free. They were a bullshit artist, in my opinion. I'm like, hmm. okay, you free, huh? Free from what? Because you don't seem like you free to me, you know? Let's go on a roller coaster. Oh, no, no. I've had bad experiences. Okay. What have you had good experiences with? And that's the other thing about it. I think sometimes it's one thing to find things that you like and stick to it. Because if you like something, you like it. It never gets old because you like it. But what happens, and I've done this numerous occasions where I had to drag a free-spirited, quote, a quote-unquote free-spirited person kicking and screaming to do something outside of their comfort zone of freedom and spiritedness for them to actually, you know, fight tooth and nail while we're doing it and then say, oh man, that was great. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, put this into my repertoire. Like, you're supposed to be open in the first place. I shouldn't argue with a free-spirited person about doing new things. And I find that you, I spent, a, I've spent a lot of time arguing with, arguing with free-spirited people, not about them being um, all over the place, blown, you know, just going which, whichever way the wind blows, because that is a part that I do not like either, but I had to really think about it and say, I don't like them blowing which way the wind blows because going every which way the wind blows because they're really blowing in the same direction. They just want to make it look like, oh, I'm going to do whatever, but you're going to wind up here. You can sway in the wind all the way you want to and act like it's blowing you back and forth, but you're going to wind up right there. Because guess what? You ain't free to go this way because you don't know what's over there. You, you know, that uncertainty sways you right back to the things that you know. You know? And for me, um, I start to, to question... your level of fear because you know to be free spirited you have to be curious which means you have to be able to control your your fear be cautious be concerned be able to discern um safety from harm but at the same time you have to um control the, the level of fear that you have like i'm gonna still do it because I just want to, I want to see this. I want to, I want to experience this. And that's the thing I mean about, you know, they're rigid. Because when I sit down and I talk to people, I spend time with them, the, the free-spirited people, they don't necessarily have a va a, 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 um a vast wealth of experience in different things. They pretty much have a concentrated knowledge in a few things that people would consider maybe off center, you know, off, you know, off of the beaten path. They, their free spiritedness is really off center of normal, but it's still right there. It is not. It's not, you know, if this is normal and they're like right here, it's not right here, right here, right here, right here, you know, out there, out there. It's just right here. Um, all their experiences is right here. And sometimes I, I, I would question, and you know, like, you know, is, is, is that just your shtick? Because... You know, it's kind of like people who like playing with fire. They know that they're playing with fire. And they stick to playing with the fire. But they never really... They never really manipulate it. They just... It's hot, 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 hot. And people are like, you know, that's weird that you just keep doing that. But they like that, so it's off-center. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. And they say, okay, well... 
How about we try to smelt some steel? No. That's a little bit too much work. You know? And to, to have uh, new experiences, that takes work. And I don't see... And I, have, I have rarely met a free-spirited person who actually wanted to work to gain a new experience. So, you know, that's my little talk about that. I'm out.